Well, we run round one's here. The season's about to start, so hopefully we're all excited. Uh, hopefully everyone remembers their teams. It starts tomorrow night. Trade deadline ends tonight, which is Wednesday. Can I set you an option? I know it's a shit one, but I'm just throwing one out there. Have a look at it. But uh, we're going to do a bit of previews on the video this year because I'm having fun doing it, and why not? So I suppose we um, go about it, see how it all goes. People are more than welcome to come join me if they want. Come over to my house Thursday nights. We get this done. Go over the teams. Should be fun. I know Cole's going to come over. So, yeah. But, um, all right, let's get it started. Round one all starts this week. There's a few uh, a few good matchups coming up. So, we'll start off with Seek and Destroy versus Maltese Falcons. Should be pretty good. I mean, I'm not too sure that both teams have to put their lineups yet. But it looks like uh, Seek and Destroy is going to go with Charlie Dixon and Mark Lacrasse at forwards. Danger Field is a utility. Uh, they're going to have a midfield of uh, Wines and Shields. Zach Smith is the ruck, and also Matt Prittis is the halfback, and Blixfast, the uh, surprise tackler there. Um, he's got no one on the interchange bench, bench I suppose, um, that can go for the loophole. It's good to see that Phoenix actually using loophole. He's put Sam Kerridge as his interchange there, so interesting to see how it goes there. But he's gone for the full line of Cloak and Gunston. Uh, Armitage in his, as utility, um, which was pretty good last year as utility. Uh, Gaff led in the midfield. I like Rory led and Andrew Gaff. That's a pretty good midfield. Uh, Jack Stevens a halfback and Mitch Robinson as a tackler there. So, follows uh, probably put both teams up against each other. Could be a pretty close one. It's hard to know how everyone's going to go. Dangerfield against the Hawks. Hawks don't really tag. Uh, Armitage, what's he going to do? Who knows? In utility. Um, all up. That could be a pretty close game. I reckon, though, with Lacroix playing the Brisbane Lions, I reckon maybe the four Lions might be the difference here. And I reckon second destroy might get that first up win. Uh, multi Falcons depth isn't really there, to be honest with you. Um, he's got Jack Watts as a sub, for crying out loud. So I reckon second destroy might get that first win there. Um, next game is Jacob Jabronis and Renegades. Um, Jabronis had the first pick in the draft this year. They've gone with a full line of Bruce and Tom Lynch. Uh, he's got Luke Parker in the in the utility spot with Dustin Martin and Bernie Vince in the midfield. Sam Jacobs at the ruck, uh, Montagna at the halfback, and Tom Mitchell as a tackler. Um, I don't think Jamie Elliott might be playing Howden, so you might want to take him off the suds, but just in case. And with Renegades, they've gone with Jack Dunning and Luke Hodge as the half forward. I presume he's got Hodge's half forward. He's got Ty Brickery as his interchange, and... Fickery does no good. He can put Hodges half forward. Of course, these teams you got to once you got the card of Richmond plays tomorrow, you got till Saturday really to get your teams in. Uh, but at the moment, these are preliminary squads, obviously. Uh, Mumford's at utility. John Lawson, Aaron Hall in the midfield. Uh, Lobie in the ruck and Barlow half back with Liberatore as a tackler. Oh, I'm probably swap those around myself. All right. Alright, if anyone's asking where Melly is and why she's in this video at the moment, she's actually out for a walk at the moment. So, Alright, next game is Dumplings versus Rangers. The uh, new look Rangers Anonymous against the team that thinks he's going to win it all, Dumplings. So, Dash, yes, there you go there. But uh, Eddie Betts and Steve Johnson are his forward line of Canterbury's utility. Mundy and Heath Shaw in the midfield for Dasher. Uh, Grundy as a ruck. Josh Kenny and Liam Pickett. Josh Kenny is the halfback. Liam Pickett's a tackler there. So, yeah, let's see if you win the league. We'll see how it goes there. Kenna with uh, Rangers and Arms has gone. Just Hogan as full forward. Taylor Walker as half forward. Matt Fife is his utility. Uh, Mitchell and Bourne in midfield. That's a midfield that can possibly get almost 100. Um, Marrick in the ruck. Selwood as halfback. And Townsend as his tackler. So, pretty solid, pretty solid there. Um, I'm going with Rangers. Sorry. Dash, but you're not champions yet, mate. I'm going to go for Rangers on that one because I reckon I've got a better side. And just to let you know, in the other game, I also think that Renegades will get over Jacob Jabroni. Uh, in the game that apparently I've already been told that I'm going to lose is I'm Rolling versus Ars Kickers United, which is me. Um, I'm Rolling's gone Kenny and Wingard as his forward spot. Considering Josh Kenny was the best half forward in the game last year, he's got about full forward at the moment. Chen Wingard and half forward. Got Stefan Martin, utility. He was the second best utility in the game last year, so that's pretty good. Uh, Dane Swan and Grant Birch in the midfield. Billy Long as the ruck. Tal Adams a halfback and Andrew Swallow as a tackler. He's gone with his loophole was Brandon Alice. Uh, he thinks Alice, Alice is going to have a pretty good game, so 
We'll see how he goes there, whether he brings him in or not. Uh, me, I've got no loophole players, but I've got Jake Stringer and Lance Franklin as for my forwards. Hannanbury is my utility. I've got Brad Crouch making his debut, and Brad Ebert in the midfield. Nick Nat Zarak, halfback Scott Thompson, and Jack Myers a tackler. So we'll go and pick him myself because Cole, you're shit. And finally, Gods of Olympus, all the way from the Philippines, versus Sugar Daddies. Um, Gods of Olympus has gone Kurt Tippett and Jack Rewalt as the forward line. Don't know about Tippett as a full forward. He just. You don't know what he's going to do, to be honest. Uh, best utility in the game, Goldstein. Uh, still side bottom Jack McRae. He's got Mark J. as a ruck. Tom Rockley was a halfback, who's the best halfback. So he's got the best utility and the best halfbacks in the game, to be honest. And Jack Redding, Redding as his tackler. So Redding's probably, Redding's probably his first game. Interesting to see how he goes. Um, Sugar, you need to change your team, because at the moment you've got Cameron and Delidio in your full line. They're both not playing. So you're not want to change that. Ablett's he's got he's gonna play Ablett as utility, he's got him back. He's got Chaw and Murphy in his midfield at the moment, which will be pretty good. And Gorn as a ruck. Callum Ward is a halfback, solid. And also Dave Swallow's not playing either, mate. So you might want to bring in Robbie Gray, you might want to bring in Luke Dowhouse, and you might want to bring in a few other players. Um, who can you bring in there, Sugar? To be honest. Um, Robbie Gray, Dowhouse, you got Bonson Pally you can bring in as well, mate. And your forward line, you can look at playing Mate, you got no forwards. You need to make some trade. You need to make a trade tonight to get another forward, mate. Cause you haven't got no one. Um, but yeah, look, that's the, that's the, this week's lineup. As I said, it's just a quick preview. We don't want to take the previews and reviews too long. Reviews probably go a bit longer than the previews. Um, if everyone looks at their squads, they'll see their projection score. That's from last year's stats. My projection scores are two seventy eight because Brad Crouch didn't even actually get a score last year, so that's why I'm at two seventy eight. Um, once again, trade deadline finishes tonight. Everyone, good luck in round one. Remember, there's a loophole available. If you want to use a loophole, that's for Carlton and Richmond players. Um, but, yeah, good luck at all. Good luck to everyone with Coley. And, yeah, let's get it going.